paddle and portage. Uh, just can you raise your hand if you know what a portage is? Sorry. It's a, is it boating? Uh, that's a, a good start. Yeah. It's where you carry your boat someplace and all your crap. Yeah. So do you mind if I use the... So um, I uh, got started in canoeing when I was uh, in high school. Um, I, was, uh, I, I was in German class and I was learning, yeah, right? I was in German class and uh, uh, I desperately wanted to go to Germany to both practice my German skills and just be in a foreign country away from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And uh, uh, my folks watched a lot of news and there was apparently a lot of terrorist activity in Germany at the time. I think it was a little bit made up, but whatever. It was in the late 80s. So instead of going to Germany, I got to go on a canoe trip to the Boundary Waters, which is an area of the United States between Minnesota and Canada. And it's a national, uh, basically a national park. And you get a permit to go out there and you can canoe anywhere you want for as long as you want. There's no motorboats allowed. There's no cabins. There's just designated campsites. It's really beautiful. So I went up there with uh, a teacher and uh, about 30 other students um, into this extremely remote area. And what you learn is that uh, you canoe for a while, which is challenging, and then you have to pick up everything that you brought and move it sometimes up to a mile from one lake to the next lake and um uh, uh including your super heavy canoe <laughs> so anyway uh what i did learn from it though is that i enjoyed it and i ended up going back to the boundary waters probably 25 or 30 times since then uh for anywhere from three days to 10 days and uh so uh I, I just really fell in love with canoeing and whatnot. Well, in Madison, Wisconsin, where I lived for about 20 years, uh, it, it, it has this cool ge um, geography, right? It's in between two lakes, and uh, this is an isthmus. Uh, if you've never heard that word, like that's just a little strip of land between two lakes. And uh, the newspaper in town, the isthmus, sponsored an event every year called Paddle and Portage. Uh, it unfortunately, last year was the last year of it, but uh, it was a super fun, very unique race. And it was one of the coolest things that I've, I've uh, participated in in my life. So here's me. Uh, I rented a little tiny apartment right on one of the bays. You can see the Capitol in the background. And that's my dog who would soon after that jump out and flip the canoe. <laughs> he, he never went canoeing with me again. <laughs> So um, this Isthmus spot sponsored this event called Paddle and Portage, and it's a really, it was really a very unique event. So um, is there a picture you see? Um, maybe I took it out. It's okay. Can you start that again? That's okay. <laughs> so um here we are getting ready for this event so what the, the event was that you uh start canoeing on this lake out here and you do about a two mile loop and then you pick up all your stuff and you carry it across the isthmus to the other side and while that while you're carrying it across you have to go up a hill to the capital the capital of the state is built on top of this hill and between that strip of land and uh, there's a farmer's market, this giant farmer's market with thousands of people at the farmer's market uh, on Saturdays when this event is held. So here's my friend and I, this is my friend Susan, and uh, we're getting ready my, with my canoe. And uh, this particular year uh, was uh, extra special. Uh, if you notice uh, this water, uh, it looks pretty green. And that's not a like, camera artifact or any kind of filter uh there was an algae bloom that happened then and that water was like green latex paint it was so gross 
And, uh, and if you notice, there's just tons of people, or there's quite a few people getting in at once here. And uh, this is my canoe. And so my friend Susan, <laughs> my friend Susan got in the front of the canoe and we were pushing it out and somebody pushed us and obviously we flipped over and she ended up in the very stinky green paint algae bloom. Uh, and she was a trooper. Uh, you can see her here. Uh, you can barely see that her hair is just completely wet and she is just sopping wet. Um, so we, uh, we, we did our mile run. She was sopping wet. Um, this is not the same race, but here we are. You can see the farmer's market in the background here. And, uh, we're just having a good time, right? Cause you, I, I'm smiling, but obviously you can see I'm also sweating, <laughs> you know, cause you're literally running with a 50, my canoe weighs about 50 pounds. You have a 50 pound canoe on your shoulders and you're running up and down a hill. It's about a mile from one side to the other. Uh, and then at the end, this is a different year. This is with my buddy, Chad. Uh, this is the finish line. And at the finish line, then they have a huge party with a bunch of beer and bratwurst, of course, because it is Wisconsin and, uh, uh, generally a good time. So, uh, my, uh, my story really is like, uh, this is one of the, the highlights of my life is canoeing. I really, really enjoy it. I have not done it since I moved to California, but that's okay. There's other things California has to offer. So thank you.